Welcome to the build test on the HTML canvas using JavaScript and Zim. This is the second stage of the build test where we're using the wiggle and we've got the play. I'm just going to hit refresh now to start from the beginning. Control R. So a bunch of icons animate off. Well, let's see that again. And what we've done is we've left one icon, so there's a tiling of a bunch of icons. We've added an extra icon and placed it in amongst the tiles. So let's refresh that again. Once we tile it, we use an interval to remove all of the elements in the tile, all of the children in the tile, which is a container that holds all those things and we're left with the one that we placed on top, our player. Okay, let's try that one more time. So we refresh, they all disappear, and then once they're all gone, we then wiggle this one. So we're using a wiggle to wiggle this uh, player up and down. We animate in this message that says protect player with a button. So let's see that one more time. This animates in from the top. Uh, it means you should probably make it into a container to animate both those things in easily. And then we hit play, and here's the game. So this is the second part. The tile was the first part, and the third part is when we play. So we play, that animates up, and now we use a motion controller to make this follow our cursor up and down. Note that there's a number up above three when we hit one of these lines, let's hit two, zero. And so once we hit three of them, this goes down and everything stops and the background goes red. So let's see that part again. A refresh. We hit play. The number comes in we are following now with a motion controller. These lines that are going across, there's a hit. The lines that are going across are created in an interval and they just are animating the scale from zero to the width of the stage. When, that an when each animation is done, we take away the line completely and we need to check to see if we're hitting the icon as we go. If we're hitting the icon, we remove uh, a number from here. So we count down from three, two, one. When it hits zero, we end the game with a stop animation. And uh, we have to enable false on our motion controller. And, and, and it's all said sort of in the tips or instructions as this goes. And then our background goes red. And that is what you're building. All the best.